What is the difference between SharePoint Online and SharePoint Server? Friends, first understand very basic difference is SharePoint Online is cloud-based which means that you do not need to procure or hire any resource like infrastructure, CPU, storage, network devices. SharePoint Online is hosted on Microsoft's servers and users access it through a web browser. And SharePoint Server is an on-premise solution which requires organizations to install and maintain the SharePoint software on their own servers. Also, organization need to hire infrastructure and IT staff to manage all the resources. Second difference about cost is SharePoint Online is subscription-based which means for each user you need to buy one Microsoft Office 365 subscription who wants access to SharePoint on browser and for SharePoint server, it involves upfront costs for hardware, software licenses and ongoing maintenance. Organizations are responsible for managing their infrastructure where SharePoint is installed. Third difference in terms of security. In SharePoint Online, Microsoft takes care of the infrastructure, security updates, and maintenance. Organizations have less control over server configurations, but take benefit from automatic updates and continuous improvements done by Microsoft. In SharePoint Server, organizations have full control over server configurations which allowing them to customize the environment to meet specific needs. However, they are responsible for managing updates, patches, and overall server maintenance. Now SharePoint Online is ideal for small to medium-sized businesses where organizations with limited IT resources or those looking for effective solution without the burden of managing on-premises infrastructure and SharePoint server suited for large enterprises with specific customization requirements, complex business processes, strict security and compliance needs, or organizations that prefer complete control over their SharePoint environment. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more SQL Server tutorials and tips.